Have you ever wondered what could you use to overpower a crocodile? Crocodiles up to 2 meters, 6.5 feet long, a simple rubber band might just save your life. While their jaw-closing muscles pack a force so powerful it rivals a truck falling off a cliff, the muscles that open their jaws are surprisingly weak. So weak, in fact, you could hold their mouth shut with one hand. But what truly sets crocodiles apart from their alligator cousins? The key differences lie in their appearance and habitat. Crocodiles boast longer, narrower snouts, eyes positioned further forward, and a distinct fourth tooth that juts out from the lower jaw. While some crocodiles thrive in salty waters, alligators prefer fresh water. Even their names tell a story. Crocodile comes from the Greek crocodilos, meaning lizard, first noted by Herodotus as he observed these creatures basking on the sunlit banks of the Nile. The term alligator, meanwhile, is a linguistic twist on the Spanish el legarto, or the lizard of the Indies. And about those crocodile tears, it's nothing but a medieval myth. Sir John Mandeville in 1356 claimed that these serpents weep as they devour their prey. In truth, crocodiles do have tear ducts, but their purpose is purely practical, discharging into their mouths to aid in swallowing. Any watering you might notice is simply a side effect of gulping down a particularly large meal. Here's another jaw-dropping fact. The stomach acid of crocodiles is so potent it can dissolve iron and steel, yet don't lose sleep over alligators lurking in city sewers. That's an urban legend born from a 1935 New York Times article. The truth is alligators need UV rays from the sun to process calcium, making sewers an impossible home. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos.